Hello everyone, this is Fatma from Addictive Tips and today I'm going to show you how you can use FFMPEG to create GIFs. FFMPEG is basically a command line tool which is why a lot of people hesitate to use it. But if you can learn the commands and they're really not that hard, you will find that this is a very powerful tool that you can use. It can manipulate all sorts of media and of course it can create GIFs. So we're going to break down all the commands that you need to use and all you have to do is change the command to suit your needs. You'll basically be editing file names and output file names or the frame rate or the size of the GIF. Download FFMPG and extract the file. Inside there's a bin folder. Click inside the location bar and copy the path to this folder. Open command prompt and use the cd command that you see on your screen right now and move to this exact folder. Make sure you replace this path after CD with the path to the extracted folder. Now we're going to show you how to create a GIF from a video. And it's best if you have the video already trimmed to the exact portion that you want to create the GIF from. If you're on Windows 10, you can trim videos with the TV and Movies app. And you can also trim it with the Photos app. Once you've got the trimmed video, you have to put it inside the bin folder. With the video inside the folder, you're ready to run the command that will convert the video to a GIF. It's on your screen right now and we're going to explain it. This is FFMPEG that's calling the app. The I tells it what to do. Video.mp4 is the name of the video file that you're going to be converting to a GIF. You should change it to whatever the name of the video file is. If it's my video, change it to my video. If it's video123, change it to video123. Video files can be lots of different extensions, mp4, avi, mkv. You need to change the extension to match whatever the extension your video file has. Now, my underscore gif is the name of the output file that it's going to create, and dot gif is its extension. You do not want to change the dot gif part. What you want to change is the my underscore gif part. Rename it to something that will tell you what the gif is. For example, the GIF that I'm creating right now is um, a portion from the intro of Attack on Titan. So I can change it to something like Attack on Titan dot GIF. That's about all it takes. Just tap enter and the GIF is going to be ready within a few seconds. Now this command converts the GIF with a 20 frame rate and, this, and it matches the exact resolution of the video. If the video is 1920 by 1080, the GIF will be the same size. You can of course change both the frame rate and the resolution and we're going to show you the command for that right now. It's again FFMPG, it's calling the app, dash i, telling it what to do. Video.mp4, that's the name of the video file. Dash r20 is what tells the app what the frame rate should be. So if you want it to be 40, you should change it to dash r40. If you want it to be 60, you should change it to dash r60. Dash vf sc scale is equal to 240 colon minus 1 tells the app what the resolution for the GIF should be. With 240, it's going to be 240 and the, the, the width is going to be 240 and the height is going to be adjusted proportionately. If you want it to be something different like 680, change the 240 value to 680 and leave the rest as it is. My underscore gif dot gif is again the name of the output file. So change the name of the file, but do not change the gif extension. Tap enter and that's about it. Your gif is going to be saved in the exact same folder that the video is in, which is the bin folder. And that's how easy it is to use FFMPEG to create a gif from a video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again later with more tips and tricks for Windows 10.